Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat Evolution for race 5 of 36 in the career mode. We're going to Auto Club today. Um, I'm looking forward to it somewhat. I don't know. I really don't know. Phoenix, uh, we got a top 10 out of there somehow. Um, we, we basically got in the wreck, restarted dead last, moved our way up through the field to 8th with the help of wedge adjustments, so thank you for that. Um, teams, we're going to look at that and show you what's been going on. We're about 400k away from the next part and we did upgrade or the or the game did upgrade our sponsors so now it's like more expensive and stuff for our output and everything so that's that's nice so uh career race settings hard difficulties same stuff as always uh without further ado let's dive right into the race Off a of turn four into the front stretch. I'm not quite sure what the lap time will be. Oh my god. That's horrible. That la I did not think that lap time was even that bad. Oh my god. Well this this season or this career mode is it almost is worse than season one and we have more upgrades to the car, like what the fuck? Brad Kislowski's on the pole, so we're expecting a roadblock at some point during the race, so that's a good thing to know. Anyways, uh, let's get into the race and see what happens. I I hope I finish better than where I qualified. Here we are, the race is about to begin. Get ready. And green flags over underway here at Auto Club for whatever amount of laps it is, as we already have an abysmal start, which that's nothing new in this career mode, it seems like. But we're starting P33 on the inside. We're, okay, we got 14 laps, so field should spread out, hopefully. I guess we'll just try to take it uh, one lap at a time and uh, just see what happens I really got to be careful because the bumps on this track and the car just still don't want to turn hopefully with the the next upgrade it'll make it better because I mean how long will it take for this car to be competitive it's it's way too inconsistent um, but we're in 36 now our 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 freaking magic is turn three because we can go all the way down here and gain some spots that way that's like the only corner that I feel like that could do well this is based on practice knowledge of doing freaking race nows and stuff all the time, so and doing season one because that helped out too. But we gained a couple spots through there. We're just gonna stay in the draft and get straight line speed as much as possible. Clint Boyer is driving his blue paint scheme, so that's cute. Going into one now. Uh, I think when I was racing here the first season, I think this was before the patch. No, I think no, this was. No, that was might have been after the patch came out with the bumps. So I'm, I might be thinking of something different, but. This is going to be uh, interesting to see um, how this will play out because it, pff, the track's fucking bumpy. Oh my gosh, we're going to go way down here, get some extra grip and extra spots. It almost seems like we get more horsepower down here, which is very strange. Now we're side by side with Danica. Can we get Tony Storch draft? He's kind of going on the outside, not really giving me much draft, but we do just enough just enough to get by Danica, so, so thank you, Stuart. We're going to go into one yet again. Brad did start out on the pole. I don't know with the with the new Miller Lite car. I don't know if they programmed him to be you know better like better than fucking 40th. I would hope so. I mean he. I mean I'm no NASCAR avid crazy fan, but I'm assuming Brad is better than a 40th place car. There we go. We're gonna try to get by Ryan Blaney for the 23rd spot again. That inside line going into three and four just helps us out so much. As you just saw, we're going to clear Ryan Blaney on the front stretch here. Now we secure 23rd. Let's try to get by Brian Scott, who has been slowly losing spots in the early point of this race. So I think we can maybe get to him. We're right there with Eric Amarola as well. I think a top 20 is quite possible, but our sponsor objective is at least a minimum of 15th, and I don't think we'll get there. But we're going to try. But considering we're 33rd, this is uh, already pretty good, so... Going down low into three again, get momentum, I think blow by Eric Almarola and maybe Brian Scott, but not quite, but we're still in this draft, so I guess we'll have to wait another lap to see what happens, because turn one we can't do shit in. 
God damn, another lap and another shot as I hit the outside wall like an idiot trying to arc it too much in a corner. Lost a little bit of ground, but we'll gain it back up here. So that was a basic, that was basically a wasted lap right there. We just, nothing was accomplished. I hit the outside wall. That was, that sucked. Okay, turn three isn't working anymore. I'm gonna have to go into super duper sweat mode here and uh, try to gain on them because I think our car is starting to stall out pace wise. Michael Annette is all over my back bumper in that corner. My god, he's, he's caught up on me very quickly. Turn three is like the only corner that we kind of even out the pace and everything, so I've really got to make turn three work again. But yeah, Michael Annette's way faster. Oh god, clip the, the, the extra white line or whatever. <laughs> and. Boy, yeah, he's way faster. He's he's gonna get by us on the outside. He has his car is super quick. He just drove right around me. I really couldn't even hold him off. The car is just losing a whole lot of pace. I don't really know. I don't think it is because our the tire fall off doesn't really exist in this game. So it has to be the, like the AI is picking up their pace or something. Because David Reagan's all over me now. I mean, I'm just continuing to lose spots now in the second half of this race. I really can't do anything, I mean, just straight line-wise, I'm still slow as shit. I mean, realistically speaking, I'm still like a good 15, 20 miles an hour off the actual pace, but I just I just can't do anything. Turn 3 is literally the only corner that, that just keeps us afloat and survives, because if I didn't have Turn 3, and if the car acted pace-wise as it would be in Turn 1, I would be even further back in the pack. Oh, God, that was close. See what I mean about that? It was just one little touch like that, and the car would just careen. That's why I'm trying to. That's why I have to be so careful and not make contact with those guys because you never know what can happen. But I'm still in 23rd. It's somebody on pit road. Like, just, I I think somebody must be down pit road because I think it was 23rd at some point. And I I'm still in 23rd, so I must have not must have not. I don't know. Somebody must uh, must have went down pit road again. I would like to know, but track maps don't exist in this game, so I don't know. So I just have to assume. White flag's coming out, one more lap to go for us. I don't know who's leading, but we're still on 23rd. Uh, Dylan's been losing a lot of pace as well, so maybe we can get by him in turn three this time, but we'll see. Trying to make turn one work, but kind of blew it a little bit, but we still got his draft. It's not over yet. No, I mean, maybe it is. I mean, straight line speed, we still don't have, <laughs> or at least at this track, but catching him, so well, not really, I think we've lost ground from him, but we're gonna go way down low in a three again, try to make it work. We're gonna be sliding up the track, make slight contact there, but we're just not gonna have the pace. And again, just like freaking Phoenix, we're gonna lose another spot in a side by side finish. Almost hit the outside wall sideways, and we get 23. <laughs> God damn. Okay, so season two is gonna be way harder than I thought. And our speed rating is still crap. Like, my God. Oh man, but it's okay. We still got Bristol and Marshall. So there's hope for us. And Brad Kislowski wins the race. Guys, he's in the chase again. So that means he can sandbag the rest of the season because he got that win. I'm kind of curious where everybody else... Oh, that was Chase Elliott that must have went down here. I just saw that. Casey Kane third. Okay, so that's, that's who went down pit road then. It was definitely Chase Elliott. Interesting. So Okay, so I wasn't imagining things. That's good to know. Let's see what he guys. Let's see what we get money wise. It shouldn't be honestly all that much, because you know we didn't get any of our sponsor objectives that's, except for finishing 23rd in the primary, and we get 119,000. So we're what three under, around around 300,000 away from the next part. So we're slowly getting there. Once we get the like, once we go to Marinsville, Bristol, we'll we'll do good. We drop down 11th in points. Uh, Junior's 11 points ahead of me now. So. Junior definitely gained on me a lot. I see Brad in 16th. I wonder if the patch made him, or at least with the Miller Ice game, made him better? I don't, I don't know. I knew Michael Annette was fast. Look at how much spots he gained. Next race will be at Martinsville. Yes, we can win there. We could do good there, as long as I don't choke. Yes. Oh my God, I'm happy. We had a very, Daytona was a pretty okay. We got Atlanta, that was good. Then Vegas, which I sucked at. And at Phoenix, I did good. So it's like, I do good, good, bad, good, bad. And then it's going to be good here. <laughs> it's weird. Um, teams were still obviously away from the next part. Just under 200,000 or a little bit over 200,000. So 
Maybe with doing well at Martinsville, we can definitely get way over that and get that part. And everything else from there is way, way much more, but yeah. So, um, sponsor standings. I don't think there's much else to show. Um, but yeah, uh, here's the chase sorting. So, here's who's in the chase right now. I'm 12th. I'm, I'm still in, in, in on points, so yay. And that's really it for this race. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, next one will be on Martin, so I'm looking forward to it. Like I always say, I do appreciate the love, feedback, and support. All you guys give me in the comment section below, and as well as liking the video, because it helps me out a lot in the long run. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next race. And as always, have a good day, everyone.